everyone. It's me, Barb. I am here and it is time to get Stitch's final sock. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys are excited, but I am super excited. And uh, we have a few other small things to do today. Um, I'm hoping small things. Buzz's level 10 quest and Minnie's level 10 quest. I may be jinxing myself. Um, but yeah, I'm excited and I am so excited. I'm literally already standing here right at the sock. <laughs> so, um, this is where my sock is over here. And, um, yeah, this is how we're starting out the day. Oh, hey Paige, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Glad to have you here. Oh, heads up. I, um, I had a very long nap today of accidental sleep. So, um... And to stream on some sort of relatively nice schedule I ordered in food. So if you hear someone knock loudly at my door, it's because Taco Bell is on the way. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're getting a sock and we're having Taco Bell. So um, let's get the sock. Ooh, built to destroy. Another sock. To find out who this one belongs to, you might need to ask around a bit. Talk to Mickey. Talk to Kristoff. Talk to Merlin. Oh, awesome. Let's go um, find our buddies. Who is closest? I see Merlin in the restaurant. Let's go uh, say hi to Merlin in the restaurant. Ooh. I still don't trust him on this sound fix thing. So while we're in the restaurant, just to be safe, we'll put it on right after. I swear. I hope. <laughs> Hey, look at you being all dapper in your holiday robes. Do you know anything about this sock? Well, hello. Well, now, what do you have there, Barb? <laughs> Goodness gracious. My sock. I've been looking for this everywhere. Uh, uh, what? Is uh, his sock? Huh. A dear friend conjured these for me long ago. They're my most cherished pair. When I hold them close, well, I can almost remember her face. Wait a moment. It looks like the sock has been a bit slobbered upon. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, no, no, there, there's no need to apologize. Unless it's you who salivated on them, of course. Uh, there's someone going around stealing everybody's stuff and dropping it everywhere. You might have heard Donald talking about it. Mm, yes, I have heard him going on about extraterrestrials of some sort. <laughs> We have enough magical muddles around here without worrying about that. Uh, so do you think Donald's quacking up the wrong tree, or have you noticed anything else going missing? Now that you mention it, someone's been pilfering books and causing great commotion in the Dreamlight Library. Maybe I can find a clue in there. Okay, let's go check out the Dreamlight Library in Merlin's. Ooh, we haven't... Oh, hello, Mr. Kitty. Come here, buddy. Sorry, my cat's wanting some pettins. Good boy. Hey. Okay, now let's go to Merlin's place. It's literally just right up here, so I'm just gonna walk. Also, pardon the mess, I did not get on and play tonight. Well, last night on my lunch break at work. So now it's a hot mess everywhere. There's literally thorns and sticks and garbage. Absolutely. It's absolutely trashed. Let's see. Merlin. Merlin. Hello, Merlin's place. Oh, I should have known. We are going to stomp some garbage. I really like that they are being consistent with this. <laughs> like, hey, I'm going to need you to go stomp some garbage. I'm like, well, okay. I did not bring my garbage stomping shoes, but we will do this in our finest holiday wear. You were blending in with those book stacks. Nice. We found a clue. I don't know what it is. Bring the mysterious claw to Donald. Okay. It's a mysterious claw. Oh no. Does he shed claws kind of like cats do? Because otherwise that looks like ouch if it's his, you know? I don't want to find Stitch in pieces. <laughs> I gotta find... All a stitch. Donald, where are you? We need to urgently find Stitch, apparently. Ooh, you best not be asleep, Donald. 
I didn't see any Z's, did you guys? That would be just the worst. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I moved his boat off the coast, and I was like, oh, like, way far out in the ocean. I'm like, I can just, like, talk to him to go to his boat. And then one day he was in his boat hanging out, and he had talked to him. So I was like, well, I guess I'm moving him back. Come over here, Donald. I don't like you hanging out in that door. I don't want to bug my quest. Let's get you somewhere not next to a bunch of stuff. That works. Oh, hey, thank you so much, Musical uh, musical Blonde. It's nice to have you here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Are you getting to play any Dreamlight Valley? I'm going to give Donald his claw. Oh, oh boy, look at that. That's proof. That piece of claw had to come from a space alien. Uh, do you still have this strange device, Donald? You bet, and it's beeping a lot. I'm going to put the claw piece in it and see what happens. Ooh. What's it doing? It's all lit up. The screen says... DNA match authorization 100% complete. Ooh. This one must have been our last 33.333, you know, little dash over the top, forever rounded up. <laughs> Please place beacon to initiate landing protocol. Ooh, keep clear for your own safety. What does that mean? <laughs> I think it means this thing's some kind of homing beacon. We need to put it down somewhere and then the alien spaceship will land. And then we can catch the sock stealing space aliens. Smart thinking, Barb. No one will doubt me the next time I see something suspicious going on around here. <laughs> Let's put it down Skull Rock off Dazzle Beach. That on Skull Rock. Just to be safe. Interesting. So I've been trying to avoid too many spoilers for this, but I did see in some of the... Oh. Who's an angry boy? <laughs> so we're going to let him rage for a second. But I did see in some of the Dreamlight Valley Facebook groups that some people actually tried to place it on Skull Rock, and it bugged. Uh, people said to place it on the little island. So... I'll take that little bit of spoiler information to not bug my quest. <laughs> so... That's what we will be doing. I'm going to clean some of this mess off of here just because I'm a bit worried about bugging quest, just in general. Ooh, nice. You got it with a December 6th update. Ooh, that's awesome. Do you still have a lot to do? Ooh, this pillar is quite loud. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of this mess. Make it a little bit nicer over here. On Skull Rock. I guess we'll just place it on this little island next to Skull Rock, unless it really wants me to go on Skull Rock. I'm just so paranoid about messing up my quest. Because I need my little Stitch. He's absolutely the cutest. I have not messed with... Ooh, hello, chest. I have not messed with this island in a little bit. Oh, yeah, I saw that too as well. And someone posted in the Discord. Apparently, they did put a patch out today, but it's not for that quest. The patch for that quest is going to be next week. Apparently, it bugs your crafting stations if you do that quest. So, 100% agreed. If any of you all are going along and playing with me tonight, do not do the level 7 stitch quest. It's bugged. They're working on fixing it for us. Um, so, do everything up until then. But, yeah. I appreciate you mentioning that. Because I actually wanted to mention that earlier in the stream in case anyone was playing along and was maybe a bit ahead of me. So public service announcement. announcement. Uh, very important what Paige has said. Do not do the level 7 stitch quest just yet. You can do everything up until then just fine. Hopefully. Okay. Um, let's place this. Ooh, buddy. One homing beacon. Ooh, people are actually placing it over there. I see. Only place it where it's green. Let's homing beacon here because this looks like a great spot for it. Oh my goodness, guys. We have a cutscene. Did you see that? Oh my gosh, guys. It's Stitch. He's absolutely too cute. Oh, guys. 
house. We need a slash pet, a forge slash pet, so we can pet him. Let's say hi to our cute little buddy. Hello. Woof. Eek. Ba. Chuda. Hi. Oh. The chatty night. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Are you the space alien who's been stealing all the socks? Just observe him. Stitch. Stitch. <laughs> oh. Did you make Stitch ship crash? Um, I didn't mean for that to happen. We just wanted to stop you from stealing all the socks. Oh, yeah, that was me. I'm gonna go with it. I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, no, Paige. Hopefully they'll get that fixed super quick so you can go on with yours. I heard that it has your, maybe your crafting stations bugged is what they said. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, goodness, Stitch, what are you saying? He says, Fravo no pugi. My ship is broken. Your fault. Oh shoot, guys. We made a bad first impression. This is like literally the most important character for us to have a good first impression with and we crashed his gosh darn ship. Uh, I think your ship was malfunctioning even before it crashed. It looked like you were having some trouble steering it. Megoitum. Ika Patuka. Oh, he's too cute. Hi. Aloha. Hi, Stitch. I'm glad your name is Stitch. Let's let's say, let's talk to him again. Hi. Oh, I'm in tears. He's too cute, guys. Okay. Uh, we have to talk to Donald, unfortunately. We go from like the cutest character to having to talk to Donald. Quite the contrast. <laughs> I saw that blue alien hop out of a spaceship. I remember him from before the forgetting. His name is Stitch, and he loves to cause trouble. But I think the forgetting made him even more trouble than before. Uh, do you know what this means, Donald? You were right along. There was a space alien stealing everybody's socks. I knew it. <laughs> Nobody believed me. I was the only one who had it figured out. Now you can brag about it to everyone. <laughs> oh, this is great, guys. I can't wait to show Uncle Scrooge that I was right. I'll hold off on bragging to McDuck until we know for sure that Stitch isn't going to destroy all the most valuable property in the village. Huh, I guess you're right. But we can't have Stitch running around the village destroying stuff. We gotta catch him. But how? Well, his spaceship got destroyed. I guess that was his only place to live. He seemed pretty mad about it. Oh, goodness. Maybe we can start by asking Uncle Scrooge to make a home for him. That's a good idea. That way Stitch can wreck his own house instead of mine. Oh, Hey, bud. Hi. <laughs> Goobaja. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You. you said thank you. Guys. Ooh, Donald's about to rage. We gotta teleport quick. Let's go say hi to Mr. Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> Oh, guys, this is a good day. I've been looking forward to this all week. I wanted to do this right when it reset, because supposedly you could do it right after the time clock reset. Oh, you said you went to craft and now can't use the craft table. And half things are missing with no scroll bar. Oof. Hopefully they'll get that patched pretty quick. It seems a very high priority to them. So I'm sure they'll get you fixed up. On the bright side, you'll have more to do. Oh, there's Minnie. Let's not deal with her just yet. Ooh, wait. I didn't even... I just need to place it. Okay. I just went in here to talk to Scrooge. I'm a dummy. <laughs> well, while we're in here... Ooh, there's Christmas ears. Ooh, they're 2022 festive ears. I don't know if I'm supposed to get them from this. I didn't do one of the quests, so I didn't have those yet. I don't know if I'm supposed to get those in there. But I'm not gonna not get them in there. I haven't eaten the cookies that I'm supposed to eat. Or done the other things. There's boot shirt. We might as well shop over in here. There we go. I feel like a slacker. All week I was kind of hectic and busy. And I was getting ready because I'm, I'm on vacation now, guys. I'm off for 10 whole days. I was getting ready for vacation. And um, I wanted to stream earlier this week, but I just didn't get to. So my apologies for being MIA for a few days. Let's grab this Hello. lacy purple coat. 
That could be cute. Some of the coats make me feel like my character is really boxy. I don't know if I'm weird. Okay, let's go play Stitch's house. Ooh. Let's um, kind of look in the menu to preview it. Get an idea. It has a palm tree. We could go ironic and place them in the, the Frosted Heights. Let's let's be nice, though, and find a good place for them um, down here off the beach. We'll figure out exactly where. Hey, Moana. I might have a new neighbor for you. I hope you don't like socks. Wait, you're not wearing any. That would be perfect. You need a neighbor, don't you? <laughs> Hi, Ariel. Okay. Um, we could rearrange this a little bit, and he could be Moana and Eric's neighbor. Let's, uh, make this less of a mess. And let's find a nice little place for our buddy. This has got to go somewhere else. Where will we actually like it to be? That could work for now. Ooh, a lot of those places are full of junk. I kind of decorate a bit much over there. Let's just kind of place it there and we'll solve that problem later. That's a problem for future me. And let's see what we can't do over here. Place them in the middle until you can figure out the houses first. Yeah, that totally makes sense. I could do that, but... I think I have an image of where I kind of imagine them anyways, so... Otherwise, I would probably totally do the exact same thing. I kind of want him to feel like his house is kind of tucked in here. Oops, that's the wrong button. Let's just stick that back in there. Let's get rid of that one. It feels a bit much. Let's get rid of that rock, because why? The same for that one. It's not got anything nice on it. Now, I should be able to, because I know I placed... Did I place this one here? I did. No, no. Hello, game. Come on, you know you want to let me. It says no. I absolutely do not want to let you. Okay. Come on. Oh, I almost grabbed it. That is some grass. Okay. I want to clear out his entrance. We'll go ahead and give him a little flower or maybe toss it over at Eric's. Come on, little buddy. The game is just like, yeah, no. Ooh, we're going to have to dig up that hole. That tree is identical placement to the other one. We'll turn that. Oh! oh I almost clicked on it. <laughs> Game, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to not click. Let's move this in just a little bit. We're going to give him some fruit trees in his backyard for now. You know. Welcome to the valley, nice and right. Come on. <gasps> Game. Yes! Okay, I actually like that right where it is. <laughs> Okay, let's see what his house is going to be like placing because I might need to hop out and move some stuff a little bit. Okay, so let's move this just a tiny bit. Kind of like that, so it's leading up into his place. And then we do need to actually scooch some stuff a bit more. Maybe like so. That's not a fan of being scooched. Ooh, let's move this tree out, or maybe we can just toss it in here in his backyard more. Then he kind of has, like, a little set of trees. Guys, we're gonna have baby little Stitch. Okay, let's hop out here and dig this hole. Because why wouldn't there be a hole right in the middle of Stitch's yard? There we go. Our cute little baby alien. Oh, I should fill the hole. My bad. Moana, you're about to have a place ha house placed on you. There we go, she moved. Yes! So I kind of want this a bit like that. Which means... 
I got to get my hands back on that very hard to grab piece of island right here. Oh, yes. We're just going to kind of, ooh, move you out for now. Let's just get rid of that one for now. We'll deal with it later. Another future me problem. And let's place our lovely little bitty bitty buddy. There we go. That's kind of like right there center. You see that uh, indent in the grass leading right to his door. I like that. Now let's go ahead and um, move this other stuff real quick because we might as well. Give him a grand little old welcome. I wonder if we do it this way. How far we can tuck that into his place. Oh, we can actually do that decently far in. That's nice. And then I don't know what his front door looks like, but let's go ahead and just kind of do that for now. That other one in his backyard looks kind of weird, though, now. Maybe we can toss this guy in. Oh, let's not select the house. There we go, little buddy. Hopefully that feels a bit more like home. Okay, that sounds good. Time to build up his place. Good day, dear farm that wee blue lad is running amok all over the valley isn't he a mite destructive oh. all that property damage Ugh, my wallet aches just thinking about it uh -huh. we ought to make him his own place so that he can wreck as much as he likes uh let's make a nice house for stitch here's 10 grand <laughs> a house for stitch to wreck so he doesn't wreck the valley splendid idea glad i thought of it oh. <laughs> now, do not worry. I have this done in a trace. It's urgent after all. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's too cute, guys. I absolutely love it. Okay. That is perfect. I like that spot for it. Oh, there's a surfboard. A little red doorknob. The plants stick out of it. The palm tree sticks out of it. Let's see how this fits for his backyard with the fruit. Yep, and he has a little backyard of tropical fruit. Okay. We have our lovely buddy Stitch. Yo, hey. Let's get rid of that weird... Let's get away from that weird little pillar. Come here. You again. Grr. Fee-boo-goo. <laughs> I wanted to apologize. We didn't mean to wreck your spaceship. To make up for it, we built a special place in the village just for you. Nice. Mm -hmm. Special place. Special place, like home? Exactly. Oh, Stitch wants to have a home. I'm Barb. You probably don't remember this place because of the forgetting all he remembers. Sky get dark and bad night get thorns grow. Stitch go and ship to get help for everyone, but I needed fuel. So I came back, find things to put in ship, so ship go faster. Uh, what sort of things do you put in your ship? Lots of stuff. Socks, books, night thorns. He tried to use night thorns as fuel. <laughs> uh, no wonder the navigation was messed up. It will be nice. Did it work, bud? Did it work? No? Not good. And then night thorns make my head not good. So I got lost. Oh no. Well, you're not lost anymore, Stitch. Stitch. <laughs> Aki Baba. <laughs> Are you my friend? We're all friends here. Welcome back to Dreamlight Valley. Just promise you'll get back all the socks you took, okay? Yeah, yeah, I promise. <laughs> oh, I got it. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I don't feel like we're bugged. Um, let's... I want him to hang out. Can he hang out with us yet? Gubaja. Reach friendship level two. I have something to give you. Let's give him a present and talk to him. Because I want him to be able to hang out with us. Can you guys? You put food and stove to cook, right? 
but if shoot food with lasers, it cooks faster. <laughs> That's an amazing idea, bud. Yeah, Stitch, go tell Remy. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Let's turn that in. Okay, little bud. Uh, my name's Stitch. I have something to give you. Would you like this berry salad? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> he says Taka. Absolutely too cute. Okay. Oh, that's a great, great view. We got that just perfect. Ooh, look at these rewards. A little book on the table. That's so cute. A couple motifs. That drawing motif, number six, level six, is actually awesome. We have to wait to get the seven, eight, nine, and ten rewards because he's bugged. But look, he gets a spaceship. And he gets a whatever number eight is. And a hat. Ooh, you're hanging out with him right now? That's awesome, Paige. I'm gonna get us off. Ooh, shoot, I didn't think about this. I have enough gardening buddies. I don't really like foraging, so I don't do it much or grab the buddy for it. I think I have enough mining buddies and enough fishing. I think I'll make him digging, because it seems like he likes to, like, find stuff. And digging seems like that would work. What do you guys think? Digging? Because I'm thinking digging. Wow, this is hard. I, I definitely don't think gardening or fishing fit. But I could see mining, foraging, or digging. I do mining more than digging, which means I would have him hanging out with me more often. So maybe we can do mining. Because he has scratchy little claws. Yeah, I think I want to hang out with him more often. So let's do mining. And I'll regret it later when I overthink my choice. <laughs> Ugly duckling book. Hey, you, come back. Akata. Yeah, let's hang out. Yeah, play now. Let's go check out your house. Picking a job is so hard. It's like you're just playing along, you're all calm, everything's good, and then all of a sudden your stress just shoots through the roof, and you're like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> and then you pick it, and you're like, okay, that wasn't that bad. Hey, little bud, let's talk again. Goobaja. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> this house is cute. <gasps> Whoa! I like it. He's got like this metal looking shiplap type stuff. Beachy decorations, a hula lamp, and those really cool windows. <laughs> I like your place, Stitch. It's good. Um, okay. Let's uh, go into our quest. Next quest is locked. There's a hidden requirement for quest two. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I'm not 100% sure on the hidden requirement, but I do know we need to do Minnie's quest. So let's do Minnie's quest, and then we'll try to figure out the hidden requirement for... Stitch's next quest? We can't do number seven anyways. Yeah, I think mining will be more useful. I have more mining buddies, but I'm more likely to hang out with him as a miner. And he would be my coolest mining buddy. So, let's find this for Minnie. Well, let's find Minnie for us. Oh, she's right there. Yes, that was a very efficient use of teleport. Not really. Like, she's literally right there and I teleported. Wait, where is she? She is in Scrooge's. She's shopping. <laughs> oh, Austin, I don't, I don't know. Stitch would probably win. Stitch would probably win. You hoo, Barb. I've been thinking about all the wonderful work you do. It's so kind of you, but I think you could use some help. So I think it's time we put the Cheerful Chums Club back together. Uh, what's the Cheerful Chums Club? 
Oh, I thought I'd mention it to you. The club was a group of villagers. We made sure everyone in the village had what they needed. It was a lot like what you do. Before they're forgetting, we used to hold secret meetings in the swamp. We usually held these secret meetings to plan surprise parties. Giggle. <laughs> oh, we even had our own banner. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything left of it. Thank you. Okay, investigate the Glade of Trust for a long lost banner. Okay, so I have to run to the door real quick because my delivery is here. So we're going to have a brief intermission for you guys to grab water, grab any snacks you might need. And I'm going to grab my lovely Taco Bell and I will be right back momentarily. Okay, hang tight, guys.
everyone. Sorry that took a minute. They were lost and having trouble finding my apartment. But now, I've got Taco Bell. And this food delivery app lets you add a bonus item from like another place without paying a delivery fee. So I've got Taco Bell and a Dunkin' Strawberry Refresher. <laughs> Strawberry Dragon Fruit Refresher. So, how fancy. <laughs> Can you imagine how inconvenient that'd be in real life to go through the Taco Bell to get a power bowl and then have to go through the Dunkin' drive-thru, which normally takes like 10 minutes on their good day, <laughs> all to get that combo? Because I don't think without that app, I would ever manage to get that combo of drink and food. Luxury. Okay. Let's go investigate the Glade of Trust for a long lost banner. And sorry that took so long, guys. Hopefully the Be Right Back screen music was at least slightly okay. <laughs> there we go. And we'll figure out our little buddy's next quest at some point. Let's give him some more stuff. I kind of want to level him up, but I just don't want to get him to seven. Because I want to be safe. I don't even want to have a temptation. Let's give him another berry salad. Because it's cute to give him presents anyways. <laughs> Do gather. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Do I have uh, extra flowers on me? It says right now he likes gold nuggets, gingerbread houses, and tourmaline. Hmm. The gold nuggets and the tourmaline could be easy enough. Let's go grab them those real quick for my storage. And then let's go help Minnie with her quest. Poor Minnie's been over there waiting since we got to level 10. And we're just off running and giving Stitch presents because he's amazing. Because that's how we roll. Oh, hey, Peter. How are you doing? Um, my apologies that I was off picking my Taco Bell from the door when you showed up, but we're glad to have you. Okay, one tourmaline. Ooh, not that many. Split, give me one. Thank you, game. Perfect. And one golden nugget. There we go. That's good. Did I have more stuff I could put away in here? I don't think I do at the moment. But we could go ahead and put away these other flowers because I'll at least clear inventory without spending a whole bunch of time. I know I could like, maybe gift him flowers to up his friendship. But I'm kind of worried because I heard something about flowers in Buzz's quest, so we're not going to do that just yet. Um, hey, little buddy. Oops, your storage. Your storage chest. Uh, you're an oven. Come on. I want to talk to you. There we go. <laughs> There we go, I've got something to give you. I hear you like tourmaline. Nice, that took him up into three. That's good. Well, he says it's good, thank you. We got that, I think it's motif. All right. And we progress this. Oh, no. Hopefully they get on that fix rather quickly. Ooh, he's teleported. Hello, buddy. Oh. Oh, no. I put the cheese off my table. One sec. That's a problem. Let's drop our cheese. Let's go into furniture edit mode. And let's put our cheese back on the table. That was decoration cheese. There we go. All better. Stitch, let's get out of this room. I got another present to give you. I'm picking up my table stuff on accident. Oh, look at him. He's over here sniffing the Yule donkey thing. That's cute. Oh, hey, Deanna. Glad to have you here. I'm super excited, too. Are you on his quest yet? Or are you working towards his quest? <laughs> I have something to give you, bud. I hear you are a high roller and you like gold nuggets. Yes. What a cute little buddy. <laughs> oh, awesome. 
awesome. Congrats on the few more hours. Okay, we've gone to level four. I really don't want to push his leveling too much more because I am worried about accidentally doing anything with that one quest. So let's go check out Minnie's banner thingy in the glade. We're just going to take a nice little run over there. We're going to eat a berry salad because our energy is getting questionably low. There we go. Always be running. Whoa. Look at this. Stitch, what'd you do, buddy? <laughs> hey, we started, uh, goodness, uh, level check. A new quest for Stitch. Awesome. Let's find this banner thing since we're on the way first anyways. I feel bad because every time we go do anything for Minnie, we just kind of ignore her quest. So, Glade of Trust for a long lost banner. And then, Stitch, we will go on your quest. Oh, yeah, Caitlin, I definitely hope it gets fixed soon, too. Also, if I hadn't said it yet, welcome to the stream. We're glad to have you. Okay. Let me check one thing. Hang tight, guys. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I'm back. There's um, there's basically a thing with YouTube where you can monitor your stream health. And I was just making sure it wasn't having any issues. Let's find this banner. And it said we're all good. So, heads up, we're all good. Also, if you're watching a computer, um, I have upgraded some stuff on my side. So, we are fancy now. And you can select, if you're on a computer in the cog, if it didn't auto-select for you, the option for 1440 instead of 1080. So, that's pretty cool. Now we are going to find this banner. I feel like I am just probably looking right past this. Some sort of long lost banner. Whoa. Okay. I could swear that was glowing. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it wasn't glowing before. I'm probably thinking of the other one. Where is this banner? Oh, Minnie. I'm going to need you to tell me where this long lost banner is. I feel like I'm probably being like a big dummy and just walked right past it. Minnie's long lost banner. I did rearrange quite a bit. I hope I didn't like bug out Minnie's quest. That would suck. Let's do another loop. And if I don't find it on this loop, I'm gonna ask Google, because I am not ashamed. Google is a fantastic technological advancement. Is that it? Oh, that looks like a roll of fabric. I guess it's just rolled up. So this long lost banner, when they lost it, they're like, yeah, I'm going to be very organized and roll this up all neat and tidy like. And then I'm going to go mysteriously lose it in the glade. I was not expecting it to be rolled up like that. Yo, Minnie. I have something for you. Oh, good. You're up at Scrooge's shopping again. He's been shopping like all day. Here we go. At long last, Minnie. Hey! Ooh, could you please help me? Yeah, I got up the stairs. Here we go. I'm so glad you came by. <laughs> Hello, Barb. Oh, what do you have there? <gasps> it's a bit of a mess, but it's a banner and it says, Cheerful Chums. Oh, of course. That's the banner from the club I told you about. I asked, but I couldn't find any remaining members of the club. So we just have to start up again. Now, we had a saying at the club. Always make sure Dreamlight Valley is happy in a beautiful place. I think Anna and Woody came up with that. We should repair the banner for them. Uh, let's see. We'll need to make new red dye and gather some fabric and gold nuggets. Next thing to do is get some new members. Anna and Woody used to be in the club. I'll see if they're here. 
And of course you should be an official member, Barb. Actually, you should be the president. Oh, goodness, Minnie, you can be the president. I don't want to be a president. <laughs> Would you mind if we had our first meeting in your house? Uh, no problem. Wonderful. I'll go get the other members and we'll meet you at your house. It may take a while, so you should have time to repair the banner and hang it up to welcome everyone to the club. Thank you. Oh, okay. We need to go craft a red dye, guys. It looks like we already have the fabric and the gold nuggets, so we're good there. And then, after this, we get to do Stitch's quest. We're gonna finally have that dress. There we go. Um, oops, I ran right past the crafting table. I guess we could have crafted it in our house, but that's fine. Craft a red dye. If you didn't have the ingredients yet, it would have taken two squids, two garnets, and one empty vial. Nice. <laughs> I love how she's like, ta-da! Look at what I made. Awesome. Craft the cheerful clubs, uh, club banner. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I needed to make the banner, too. There we go. The cheerful chums club banner would have taken the old damaged banner, 10 nuggets, 20 fabric, and the red dye. Ooh, that's cute. I bet you it won't let us make another, will it? Nope. I guess we won't have the ingredients for it anyways. But it would have been cute. <laughs> okay. Ooh! I promised something that I didn't do. I thought it was a bit quiet. There's the music back on. If it gets a bit loud, let me know. I can always adjust the volume on it. My sincerest apologies, guys. I'm just a jerk. Where can I put the banner? Maybe we can't put it in the main room because that'd be a bit crowded. Let's go upstairs. Um, we have a decent amount of empty wall space in here. Um, let's check out maybe in the bedroom. The walls are a bit covered in here. Um... Oh, you guys, a chest present? That's awesome. Congratulations. You know what's a weird one that I had and that disappeared and I've never gotten again from Scrooge's shop? That topiary bush thing that everyone has. Oh, here's our very janky restroom that I didn't have enough stuff to decorate. I'm gonna need to fix this one day. Like, literally, it's like, hey, welcome to the restroom. Here's the bucket. Good luck. <laughs> so maybe one day we'll fix that. Oh, goodness. So, I can't remember. Do I do anything in this room? It's probably an empty room. Oh, that's the exit. Duh. <laughs> I swear, I play this game, guys. Let's check in here. Ooh, the game room. The walls are a bit crowded in here, but it'd be super cool to do this in here. Because it seems like a good place for a club meeting. Let's put it here, and we can always put Scrooge's Banner back if we need to. Ooh, it doesn't need empty floor space to go on. Do we have to be able to be right in front of it? There we go. That works. We'll do it there. Okay, guys, let's get our picture. Let's put a little bit of Dreamlight Valley watermarking on there, and let's do a nice little pose. Uh... <laughs> Okay, that works. I like it. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do a nice one. Uh, that's a weird one. Why isn't she doing the hand thing? <laughs> My poor character. Sometimes she has problems. There we go. That looks like a nervous smile. Let's go with that. We'll save that one, too. Okay, that works, guys. We did it. Oh, hey! There's our tiny little friends in the background. I was, like, standing in front of them. I'm so rude with the pictures, guys. Good, you're here. Oh, and that was so much fun. It was wonderful to see everyone again. Mm -hmm. Thank you for finding the banner and opening your house to us. And, well, thank you for everything. You've been such a marvelous friend, Barb. 
I want you to have this. And I want you to know that I'll never forget what you've done for me. I'll do everything I can not to forget something so important ever again. Oh, goodness. Hey, we got a dress. Please come visit me anytime you like. I'm so proud of you. Nice. We did it, guys. Thank you, Minnie. Let's try in the dress just because we need to try in the dress. Ooh, we are showing some leg. <laughs> Goodness. Um, let's check out our socks selection to see if we have something to help with the legs. Being so, um, like, we are definitely showing some leg. We go with some knee highs, some not knee highs, some black footy socks, some crew socks. None of these help. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, we're just gonna wear the dress for a little bit because we're fancy like that. And we're just gonna be very, very careful. Um, do we have shorts? We got booty shorts under there. We are fine, guys. Everything will be okay. Yes, after all the iron. Oh my god. Oh, she's sitting at the fireplace. I hope that helps you guys not be so angry at her about all the iron. Look at her just hanging out. Her shoes sure do shine. Okay. Just making sure that we're not showing anything indecent. <laughs> we're good, guys. Hey, Owen. Welcome aboard. Oh, I keep going to the wrong door. If you guys haven't decorated for the holidays in game yet, you should do an indoor room. Just make sure and get a bunch more garland from Scrooge. And then make some snacks and food stuff for your table. There we go. Okay. What do we have here? We need to go in and do this. So let's track that. Let's turn in these real quick. And show the vandalized sign to Donald. It's like, hey, Donald, I swear you weren't right at all. Donald, are you at your uncle's? You're in your house again. Donald's being a real homebody today. I guess I'm the one having a staycation, so I shouldn't be saying anything. Ariel, are you going to visit Donald too? Okay. Hey, Donald. What's up, bud? No. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to watch him be angry for a second. Hey, Donald. I found a sign with a picture of you in the peaceful meadow. But it looks like someone drew on it. What's the big idea? Who would... Oh, I know who it was. It was Stitch. If he does that again, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> Calm down, buddy. Take a little breath. It's okay. Calm down? Why should I calm down? Every time I turn around, Stitch wrecks something else. What does Stitch do to get you so riled up? First, he wants to bother me. Leaving teeth marks on my pontoon, stealing the worms out of my tackle box, and then he asked me if I was ugly as a duckling. Ugly! I think he might have misunderstood Stitch. See, one of his favorite stories is the Ugly Duckling. I didn't misunderstand anything. He's got it in for me. So I put up those signs around the village to tell Stitch to keep out of my favorite places. Uh, smart idea. Good fences make good neighbors. That's not nice. The village is for everyone. Did Stitch obey the signs? No, oh, that's not nice. Bad, Donald. <laughs> exactly, and I like sharing the village with everybody who behaves, but Stitch doesn't behave. He wouldn't even follow the signs. But that's not all. He drew funny pictures all over him. Maybe I can talk to Stitch and try to teach him to respect your property. Thank you. Respect my property. <laughs> if Stitch doesn't leave me alone, I'm gonna fix up that spaceship of his and send him to the moon. Oh, goodness. Hey, little buddy. 
What's up? Uh, I hear you and Donald have been having some misunderstandings. Which is reasonable, considering he's literally raging right here and right now. Oh, it's lovely to have you in the stream, too. We're just gonna let Donald rage for a second, because he's being rude and interrupting Stitch. No wonder Stitch is destroying his stuff. I destroy his stuff, too. Because he's Donald. Poor Donald. <laughs> Okay, he may be on an extended rage. We're just gonna let him do his thing for a minute. Watch him be stuck on that right now because we're on this quest window. I guess we gotta let him interrupt Stitch because this is gonna go on for a while if we don't continue. <laughs> yep, he's stuck. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, he's having a bad day. Also, welcome to the stream. I'm super glad to have you. Are you getting to play any uh, Dreamlight Valley today? Oh, goodness. Stitch has no misunderstanding. Stitch, do prank. Donald, go whack! <laughs> oh, Stitch. Donald is my funny friend. Friend, you're pranking Donald because you think it's funny he's mad? Oh, Donald gets mad easily enough without being pranked. Let's not make the situation worse. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry for the Donald rage. <laughs> oh, you want me to stop pranking Donald? Is Stitch badness level too high? Don't worry, we'll get it under control. Of course not, you're just a little rambunctious. I'm afraid we're reaching critical levels of badness. Don't worry, bud, we'll get under control. Stitch will do better, promise. <laughs> Why don't we start by replacing those signs you drew on? I'll teach you to repair stuff. Let's go fix Donald's signs. We'll need to find hardwood softwood and those vandalized signs. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't know if he started doing that while you're talking to someone, he just keeps doing it. Oh. Wait, what? Is it only counting the hardware and software or my inventory? Let's go to my house. Oh, hey, Leanne. I am doing very well. It's my first day of my 10-day staycation. So I had uh, what was supposed to be a nap this morning and turned into accidental sleep. That's why the stream's so late today. How are you doing? Glad to have you. Oh, I know, right, Michelle? He was on the rage. So heads up, if Donald is raging and you start talking to someone, he will infinite rage. You, we can literally let him rage like that for hours and he would not stop. So be careful. <laughs> Definitely be mega careful. Sorry for the like five minutes of rage, guys. Goodness. You just make one of those videos where people put it on YouTube to listen just to sounds and just have Donald raging like that and put it on loop forever. Like, hey guys, I know this is exactly what you're looking for. I hope you enjoy it. It's our jam. Okay, some hardwood and some softwood. Okay. And we'll just grab the full stacks. So we can always put them back later. Vandalized sign near the entrance of Peaceful Meadow. I'm gonna put away some of these other flowers. Just in case we get a bit high on the inventory space here. Ooh, let's open this chest. It's been sitting here a while. What do we get? Uh, do I... I guess I click on it? Ooh! Thigh highs! Thigh highs again! Ooh! What? That's a lot of thigh highs! This may solve our... Bootylicious problem we got going on with his dress. Hello, socks. Oh, yes. We look far more decent. We looked a bit undressed earlier. I mean, we look decent, but we also look a little bit, you know, indecent because they're thigh highs <laughs> in a cropped, tiny dress. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, awesome, Michelle. I hope your storage room turns out very well. I'm thinking about doing an outdoor version of the storage room because I want to do a version of the storage room where um, for the outdoor version, it doesn't use as many items since we're all worried about that item limit with the 600 and the 300. I haven't done that just yet, though. Vandalized sign near the peaceful meadow. Oh, it's literally right here in front of my house. That's convenient. 
Let's go over here and see if it's another entrance. I bet that room's gonna turn out awesome for you. It's so nice just to feel organized. Hey, there we go. Stitch, buddy. Here, I, I have these. Let's fix this. Oh, Stitch is a good boy. He just wanted to help. Ooh, what's this? Assemble what we need to repair the signs, bud. Watch me repair a couple of them at the crafting station, then you can try fixing one yourself. Okay. Then this should be good at fixing and destroying. Oh, goodness, guys. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's get a couple of these done. Oh, yeah. Stitch is awesome. It may be predictable, but Stitch and Wally are my favorites. I did one of them. I guess I gotta go back in and do the second. Ooh, where is the second? Or do I have to talk to him? Maybe I have to talk to him. Craft two Donald signs at the crafting station. Oh no, I hope I didn't bug it. Cause I've got one. Was I supposed to up arrow? <laughs> Watch me have bugged it. Vandalize sign. Uh oh, guys. Uh oh. It's not giving me the option to craft another. I thought we just craft one and then we craft the second one. Watch me have bugged his quest. Oh no, it's down here. Oh, whew, guys. This game has me paranoid. <clears throat> I know, right? The more he destroys things, the better. It'll just make it cute. It's like fancy stitch decorations. I'm so relieved that wasn't broken. Okay, little buddy, here. Here are the signs I fixed, Stitch. Uh, can Stitch fix sign now? I think you're ready. Let's do this. Goobaja. <laughs> Just be careful, okay? Oh. Taka! <laughs> oh, that's great. You made it better, yeah? That looks great. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go place these signs around the peaceful meadow. Oh, goodness. That should show Donald that you can respect his space in the village. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes! <laughs> that sign! That is so good! Okay, Stitch, we're gonna place these around the meadow. Let's make them really prominent. Like, literally right here. One of these is not like the other. And Duck Duck Goose, except it's Duck Duck and Wonky Duck. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, that one's kind of accurate when he's raging, right, guys? Oh, Duck Duck, Wonky Duck. It's a nice variation of Duck Duck Goose. We fix signs and put back. Is Stitch Goodness level high now? Not quite. You still need to apologize to Donald. Apologies really help boost your goodness level. It's the right thing to do. If you don't, he'll never stop complaining. Mm. You want Stitch to say sorry? Oh. Stitch not good at sorry. Don't worry, if you mean it, saying sorry is easy. The most important thing is to say it from the heart. Okay, Taka. We find Donald and I say sorry. Okay, good buddy. Listen to Stitch apologize to Donald. Oh, he's right here. Walk, not you again. What kind of trick are you going to pull on me this time? No trick. Just say sorry. Sorry. Now I know you're pulling a prank. I'm too smart to fall for it. No, no. No trick. 
Barb helps Stitch fix signs and helps Stitch say sorry. I'm sorry. From Stitch's heart bottom, just like Barb say. Well, if this is really, if this really isn't a trick. Then... Aw, oh, I guess I forgive you. For now. But I'll be keeping an eye on you, and you better not try anything again. Oh, Donald uh, was decent for a second, and now he's raging. So we learned our lesson earlier by talking to someone with a quest when he was raging. Let's give him a minute, or maybe let's walk away from here. Hey, Stitch, come on. He's not being decent. He's having a rage problem. Let's get a little bit far away. There we go. This should be far better out here. Oh, I pet the fox. That's acceptable. Oh, I pet the fox again. Okay. There we go. Donna likes Stitch's sorry. Right? You did a great job, little bud. I keep goodness level high, I promise. Only prank Donald sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, now, is there another quest we can do after this one, guys? Or are we pretty much, this is where we're at in this quest for now? Because I don't want to do the level 7 one, obviously, since it's bugged. His next quest is level 4. Wait. His next quest is level 4 and a hidden requirement. I wonder what this hidden requirement is. Ooh, why is Buzz's quest locked? He's not 10 yet. Oh no, guys. We gotta get Buzz to 10. Let's find Buzz. And then we'll work on Buzz's quest. And then we will we'll come back uh, to Stitch. Uh, yeah. Are you level 4? You are. But you have a hidden requirement. Okay. Yeah, let's find Buzz. Are you at home, Buzz? No, you're over here at the pond. Oh, goodness. After that? Okay, that makes sense, Caitlin. Thank you very much. Buzz? Oh! Uh, are you... He's talking to mushrooms, guys. He's talking to the shrooms. <laughs> Whoa! Would you look at those stars? I mean, what you're over here doing, I'm sure they look fantastic and extra nice today, Buzz. Um... Let's see. Let's hang out. I, ooh, you're almost not at 10. Perfect. So, um, buddy, come here. I think I said let's hang out, right? Yeah, we're hanging out. Um, I've got a question. Let's talk to you. Uh, Barb, are you up for a test on the most important qualities of Space Ranger? Sounds fun. What do you think is more important, bravery or integrity? Ooh. Integrity. To be honest and principled, to live a life worthy of a Space Ranger. Integrity is essential. Though you also have to be brave so you can do the right thing even when it's hard. Did I answer correctly? It was a trick question, my friend. The truth is you need both. Okay. I've completed my control. All is quiet in this quadrant. I have something to give you. He likes white, passionately shiny amethyst and purple milkweed today. Of which we have none. Would you settle for this berry salad? I think I made it my mining buddy. Um, are you stuck? Let's go get him his favorite gifts real quick from my inventory. Let's give him those gifts and see if that gets him to 10. Oh, I hope it gets fixed soon. Yeah, definitely. Sometimes with these updates, I do feel a bit of caution is necessary even though it shouldn't be and it's unfortunate that it is but i bet you they'll get you fixed up real quick let's see he wanted shiny amethyst purple milkweed and white passion lily purple milkweed white passion lily white passion lily What's a white passion lily look like? Found it. And one shiny amethyst. Let's go to the shiny chest. Oops. Accidentally give him 37 shiny amethysts. That would be a rough day. 
Here, let's go outside because sometimes stuff bugs. Oh, you can? Well, that's good at least. Uh, Buzz, got a present for you. I hear you have very expensive taste. Oh, it's gonna get us there, guys. Look at how much that gave. That's perfect. We won't even have to go mining. Um. Yes, guys, yes. I'm gonna give him the other present because I want to progress favorite presents. He says, greetings. Ooh, I actually, we need to give it to him again there anyways. Now he's there. That is actually perfect. That is definitely perfect. This is good, guys. Now we can actually do his quest. Nice. Mm -hmm. Is that a clothing? Let's go in here real quick. A backpack? Oh, we gotta do the quest first. I'm a dork. Okay, let's do his quest. Hit that. On our last mission, we learned... No, in fact, you helped me remember that being a hero isn't just about battling villains. Would you have time to offer further assistance along those same lines? I'm listening. In our debrief at the end of our last mission, you told me that heroism is about caring for others. But I haven't shown much care in my dealings with Ursula. I've got to make things right. I just don't know how. Heartfelt apologies do go a long way. What would you expect from someone else? You're wrong, Buzz. Just apologize. Let's go with heart, heart, uh, heartfelt apologies. I had a feeling you were going to say that. And you're right. Though, I had hoped there was a less uncomfortable way out. Well, I know what I have to do. Barb, I, I don't suppose you'd come with me. It would be good to have some backup. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go, bud. Ooh, there's like carrots all over. What happened there? I stitch out destroying stuff. <laughs> I legit don't know how those carrots got there. <laughs> Guess we'll find out later. Oh, look at his tiny little legs go. Run, spaceman, run. Okay, let's grab these real quick. Ooh, she's over here. Thank goodness she's not further away. Look at those constellations. That's so pretty. Oh, what is it now? What horrid deed have I done to deserve another visit from you? I, um, I want to apologize. Really? Well, my dear, I'm all ears. Ursula, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have assumed you were up to a nefarious scheme. I hope we can be uh, good neighbors in the future. As far as apologies go, that was pitiful, but I suppose it'll have to do. Now off you go. Mustn't overstay your welcome. Hey, we did it, Buzz. Uh, this seems like a questionable area to talk to you in case of quest bugs. Let's go here, where nothing else is very close. You did it! I'm glad I cleared the air with Ursula. Barb, this journey has given me an idea. We should open a Star Command Academy to train other protectors of the valley, whether they were a hero or a villain in the past. Let's start with three recruits. Of course, they'll need Space Ranger badges. In fact, that can be your next mission. You have to make blue ink before you can make the badges, and the ingredients are easy to locate. I trust you'll have no problem. Report to me with the badges when you're done. I'll start thinking about who we should recruit. Okay. Let's, um, let's grab Stitch, because I want to hang out with him. Um, is he at home? Where's our little buddy of destruction? He's off at the restaurant. Because now that we've got... Well, I guess if we keep Buzz with us, we can turn the quest more easily, but I still want to hang out with Stitch, so... 
He's in the restaurant, so we are going to be safe. I'm sure they've fixed this. Or supposedly they have. But we'll turn the music on. After. Oh, little buddy. Aloha. Aloha to you, too. Let's hang out, bud. Yeah, play now. Hey, buds, I'm going to do your quest, but we're going to chill later. We're going to need to immediately go back and get buzz. Let's turn the music back on. There we go, because I'm not a jerk this time. <laughs> so we need to craft some blue ink. Let's look at this quest in the log real quick, because I'm curious. Just to craft some blue ink. Okay. Let's see what exactly this takes. Hopefully I have enough of whatever it is. Blue ink. It would have taken... Blue hydrangeas. Oh, does it want three of those blue ink? Because we may need another hydrangea. Some blueberries and empty vial. I'm gonna make one. I think it did want three, right? Yeah, we're gonna have to go find a blue hydrangea. Oh wait, was that is this a hydrangea? Or is this a falling penstemon thingy? Oh no, that's a flower planter. I'm a dummy. <laughs> Let's uh real quick go into our collection. Let's go into foraging. Let's find the flowers. Blue hydrangeas are located at Dazzle Beach. Let's go grab our hydrangea real quick, because I'd rather craft the last two and then just turn it in. Because all we need is one more blue hydrangea, which apparently I have a shortage of. Which is good to know. Oh, blue hydrangea. Where for art there, a blue hydrangea? Why is stuff just randomly on the floor? Okay. Oh, there's stuff. Yeah, bud. Oh, hydrangea. Where are you? There's a pink one. There's a blue one. I kind of like leaving the beach flowers up for decorations, but apparently we should be picking them up and putting them in storage so they can respawn more. But I just haven't really been doing that. We've got enough now. Let's, uh... Tidy up while we're over here. Might as well hit that rock. And let's go... Craft. A blue hydrangea thingy. The ink. His house is the cutest. I really like it there. And look, when you put this decoration here, um, it kind of combines the sand and that, so it blends it really well. I almost like it better than just shoving it right in the grass. Ooh, that's weird when we're carrying the candy cane. Let's put our pickaxe away. <laughs> duck, duck, wonky duck. Oh my goodness. The new party game brought to you by Stitch. Duck, duck, wonky duck. Okay, let's go ahead and make some... I guess it's going to be down in here. I don't think it's the furniture, right? Is it going to be on their functional items? Because now we have to go find it again. Blue ink. Let's make them both. There we go. Craft the Space Ranger badges. What? Where? Space Ranger badges. Okay. We should be able to make all three. Very nice. And talk to Buzz. Yo, Buzz. Uh, oh yeah, we decided to hang out with Stitch because he's cuter. My apologies, Buzz. He's just arguably cuter. Hey, Steph Majig. How are you doing? It's really good to have you here. Excuse me. Have you got Stitch yet? Are you working and getting them? Okay, let's see what we got here. Astounding, Cadet. These Space Ranger badges look very authentic. Huh? Now we just need to decide who to recruit for our Star Command Academy. We need someone who proves that heroism comes in even small packages. Ooh, that's Remy, of course. Plus, he can cook for everyone. Hopefully, we won't mind having to prepare air tea and air crumpets for some of us. Okay, who else? Uh, we need someone who's a seasoned explorer. Sounds like Moana to me. I've heard about her travels. Very impressive. Okay, who else? We need someone uh, with a little bite, like Scar. He kept that old badge for so long, he's practically already a space uh. ranger. 
I like your thinking, Barb. Well, I'd say you're ready for your first recruitment mission. Uh, good luck. Okay. So now we need to go talk to Remy, Moana, and Scar. Um, let's see where they're at. Oh, you're glitched at level 7 quest. Oof. I hope they get that fixed soon. They said they're going to patch it real quick. So I imagine they'll get you guys patched up and working just fine and dandy soon. Let's go ahead up Scar at his place real quick. Oh, Scar. We need to have a little talk, buddy. But yeah, hopefully they'll get you fixed soon. I'm going to do this buzz quest, and then I'm going to do the level 4... Um stitch quest and that's where i'll be leaving it at until we have the, the next patch oh hello buddy attention to me. i have a present for you do you want to be a space ranger scar the space ranger there you, are. you again oh goody what's this another space ranger badge why would you bring this to me barb i've no desire to start a collection Buzz and I would like you to join our new Space Ranger Academy here in Dreamlight Valley. You know, since you and Buzz are already such good friends, I thought you'd like to be invited. Get you out of your cave a little. Oh. Oh, for the last time, I merely tolerated that puny nuisance because he's an edible. Why would you possibly want me in your little academy? I trust there's good in you. Everyone should have a second chance. We need someone a little ruthless. Oh. Now there's an interesting thought, but why should I help you? Well, when you put it that way, fine, Barb, I'll join your little club. Ooh, this music in here sounds very, very, very questionably. Let me check my settings. Streaming friendly mode's on. That sounded very much like the MCA type music. Hopefully it's not. Uh, let's go find Moni, Moana, Lordy, Moni, Moana and Remy. That's a bad combination of names there, guys. Oof. <laughs> Good old Moni. Uh, let's find Remy first. Lordy Lou. <laughs> I'm bad at speaking. Definitely bad at speaking. Remy, are you in your house? You're in your house. Let's talk to him before he goes to sleep. Hey, little bud. So many flavors. Yes. Would you like to be a space ranger? I know this badge is like bigger than you. But pretend we made a small one for you. Hello. <gasps> hey, Barb. What can I do for you today? Got a special order? Well, Buzz and I would like to recruit you for our new Star Command Academy. I think it'll be good for you. Think of all the recipes you'd come up with. You really need a new hobby. Let's go with it'll be good for you. We don't want to be jerks. Well, I appreciate that you're looking out for me, but uh, aren't the space rangers... Big, tall heroes? Not sure if I'm exactly Star Command material. Heroism comes in small packages too, bud. You think so? That's pretty inspiring. Ah. I've been thinking about getting involved in some village activities lately. This opportunity is too good to pass on. Sign me up. Yes, let's go find uh, Miss Moana. And... Let's see. Moana... Oh, you're over near your home. Oh, you're walking this way. We gotta run fast. Run! Oh no. <laughs> we came down here and we could've just gone down the steps. Hey, bud. Wanna be a hero? So much to do. Here, have the Space Ranger badge. I love that we made Hello. Stitch her neighbor since she doesn't wear socks. That makes me pretty happy. <laughs> hey, Barb, what sort of adventures are we going on today? Buzz and I would like to invite you to join our new Star Command Academy here in Dreamlight Valley. We need your Wayfinder expertise. Uh, Sounds amazing, but I navigate by the stars, not through the stars. Are you sure it'd be a good fit? You left your island to save it when you didn't know much about sailing. That is the definition of heroism. Huh, I guess I never thought about it that way. And it does sound like an interesting new journey. All right, Barb, I'll try it. Great. Nice. Okay, let's find our little buddy Buzz up here. And he's going down the stairs. We'll just run straight down this path and we should intersect him. Yo, Bud, I know you're like headed home to go relax and chill for the evening, but I need to talk to you. Uh -huh. Our recruits are ready to join the ranks. Are our recruits ready to join the ranks of the Star Command? Um, ready and impatient. 
I recruit each of them personally. Scar was a little reluctant. Ready and patient. Great news, cadet. There are only a few things left to do. Let's make sure our headquarters appear inviting and that our uniforms are in top-notch shape. I suggest a proper landing pad for a ship. Asphalt should work. And a blue balloon arch. Oh, no. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> Once the items are complete, let's put them around the RV. I mean, uh, Star Command. So it's ready for the welcoming ceremony. Aw, oh, shoot. Do we have the stuff for the balloon arch? I don't know if we do. Let's make the asphalt first. Blue balloon arch. Uh-oh. Let's see how bad this is, guys. We need... I don't know if we're getting the blue balloon arch today. 15 more blue marsh milkweed, milkweeds and one blue falling pentamon. That's not bad. Um, 15 blue marsh milkweeds. Oof. Okay, let's make the asphalt. Worst case scenario, we can just... How many did he want? 20? We can just... Uh, I can just finish it off stream. <laughs> uh, but I would like to kind of do it. He said 20, right? Let's go grab our blue marshmallow weeds because that's important. We got the asphalt done. Blue marshmallow weeds. And. Ah, oh, shoot. Let's go back to that crafting station for a second. I'm going to take a picture of those flower names real quick. Because I don't want to gather a bunch of every blue flower because I forget. Because I don't know about you guys, but my memory is legit not the best. Especially for names of all these flowers. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Blue marsh milkweed and a blue falling penstemon. Okay. Okay. Let's double check real quick, because the marsh milkweed's got to be in the marsh. Um, let's double check our fallen penstemons, because I have, I constantly forget where these flowers are. I don't know about you guys. That's just literally in the plaza. Let's grab our last fallen penstemon, and then all we have to think about is blue marsh milkweeds. You know, I thought I had a decent amount of flowers. Oh, no. A decent amount of flowers set out around and saved up, but... My bad. Yes, I did not. Watch this be coins again. Game? Rude. Okay, we got our blue marsh milkweed. Let's go... Not marsh milkweed. Falling pentamon. Lordy, let's go work on our blue marsh milkweeds. <laughs> Goodness. Let's grab these because we need them for berry salads. I try to stop by at least once a day and pick up my berry salad ingredients. I don't remember leaving that there. We're a grind. Oh, yeah. I normally try to be really good about setting the flowers aside. Oh, shoot. But I haven't been lately. Why am I freezing? There we go. Oh, it's all good. No worries. Blue marsh milkweeds. I assume they're in the marsh. There's one. I'm assuming that's a blue one, right? Let's just grab all the colors while we're here. Because I want to pick up every marsh milkweed to get them to spawn the other ones. Because what we'll probably do is we'll grab all the flowers. And then we will go work on Stitch's quest. Uh, we'll try to figure out the hidden requirement. And, um, let the flowers respawn and come back. It's possible we may not be finishing Buzz's level 10 quest tonight, depending on how hard w up we are on blue marsh mil milkweeds, because it seems like in 15 of these might be a bit of a doozy. Oh, maybe we've gotten three of them. And who knows, maybe we'll get lucky on the flower respawn and we'll get quite a bit more. I'm going to pick up every single marsh milkweed. So we can encourage respawns. There we go. And get this done. Ooh. 
Maybe we have gotten five of them? I'll check in a second to see how far we are on the blue marsh milkweed situation. Because we need 15. Let's see how many we have in our inventory after doing that. Oh, we only got three. Those ones are white. Those totally look blue. So we got three out of doing that. Oof, guys, oof. Let's go stop our flower chest and at least drop them off so our inventory is not so completely and utterly full. Ooh, there's more flowers that respawned. Do they respawn that fast or did I just miss those? I probably just missed them, I guess. Unless they do respawn that fast, then I'm just bonkers. I've never paid attention to flower respawns before. Let's drop these off in one of our handy dandy linked flower chests. There we go. Make ourselves a little bit less crowded. That's a bit better. Let's drop off some other stuff in this chest here. What? Coal? I didn't know we needed coal for that. That works. Not exactly perfect, but we at least have some more room now. Okay. So, I think the flowers might take a quick moment. Let's find Stitch's hidden requirement. Ooh, let's uh, select this real quick. Nice, we got some dream light. Hidden requirement. Okay, hidden requirement. I'm trying to remember, because I know I've been avoiding spoilers, but I heard someone say something. Because it's something about sign and maybe some sort of cup. Because I definitely did not miss all the spoilers. I saw tidbits here and there. Let's see if we can find some sort of cup. So we're just going to go running around and we'll see. Look around the meadow. Okay, thank you. I will definitely look around the meadow. There's no point to wander needlessly over the whole entire valley if we have a general idea. I wonder if that's just a regular sparkling hole. I'm suspicious. I'm going to dig here. It's probably just going to be a night shard or something. Oh, yeah, it's just a shard. Okay. I really like this. I know some people are complaining about it, but it's literally a light-up carousel, and we're in a Disney game, and I like it. Let's see if we can't find a little cup. Those signs. Those are gold. Hey, little bunny. It'd be cute if it's right here next to our little picnic area. I wonder where this is. Watch it be like in this cluttered mess is my house area. What is up with this? Why are there carrots literally everywhere? And dirt? I do not know what happened over here. Was I emptying my bags out previously for something? I just got really hectic with it. There's like dirt everywhere. I do not know what happened. Ooh, maybe is this part of the Stitch quest? Like, did Stitch do this? <laughs> I could see it being like he tore up all the stuff and it's leading us to the cup. Oh goodness, I was wondering how I got so messy. I see it. Ha ha ha, funny Disney Dreamlight Valley. So funny. Thank you, I like the chores. It's great. This is exactly what we want to do in a game. Buddy, 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 what did you do? What a bad little boy. It's okay. We'll forgive him. He's too cute. We can't be angry as long as I don't accidentally pick my decorational pumpkin patch. Because <laughs> I'm not ready for those to go away yet. <laughs> we'll have to pick a more seasonal veggie soon. <gasps> Whew, that was nerve wracking. That cup is like right next to the pumpkins too. Okay, we will definitely get that. Let's get this stuff out of the way real quick. Ooh, what's in the chest? 
This is cute. I should have followed the mess. I should have known. I didn't think they'd actually have a mess stuff up. I thought they just had messed up like decorational signs and stuff. He's like, nah, I'm making a legit real mess. Thanks for the veggies. We needed some beta carotene, apparently. There we go. That's in carrots, right? I hope it is. Otherwise, I sound dumb. <laughs> Let's uh, pick up these two. Oh, no! Okay. I'm gonna fix that later. My bad. I picked a pumpkin. Okay, let's get the pickup icon. There we go. Very sleepy stitch. Who made a mess near Wally's garden? Bring the coffee cup you found to Wally. Wally. Wally, I'm gonna need some help figuring this out. Because I'm really dense today and didn't realize this was stitch. My bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Are you at home? You are! Hey, bud. I, let's get out of the corner. It's easier to talk to you if you aren't in a corner. I'm so paranoid about bugging a quest. Here, come over here and talk to me. In, like, the middle of the room. Come over here. Okay, we might have to just cave and talk to him in the corner and hope it all goes right. Okay, here, I have this lovely coffee cup. Sorry if any noise is coming through the mic. My hamster has decided he's chewing very loudly on something in his cage. Ooh, he found his chew. That's a good thing for him to be chewing on. Hey, Wally, it looks like someone made a mess of your garden. I found this cup nearby. Aww. Do you know who did this? Uh, aha. Hmm, was it? Stitch. Ta-da! Stitch messed up your garden. Oh, boy. I guess I'll have to find Stitch and do a badness level check. Oh, no. Stitch? Or are you being naughty? Stitch, I just talked to Wally, and it sounds like you've been causing some trouble again. Hey, Dustin Games. Welcome aboard. We're glad to have you. How are you doing tonight? And are you getting stitched today? Oh. <gasps> Trouble? No, goodness. Level very high. But stitch not feel good. Tummy hurts. And yawn. So sleepy. You're sleepy? Why don't you take a nap? Oh. Nap? No. Don't want to miss fun things. Stitch oh. wants coffee. So take dirt from garden and make coffee. Ew, Stitch. No. No wonder you feel sick. Did it taste any good? <laughs> Ew, Stitch, no. You don't make coffee out of dirt. You need coffee beans. Ah, yeah, beans. I remember. Before forgetting beans, we were on tree. But now no trees, no beans. Before forgetting, I put tree in spaceship for coffee to keep awake. Oh, okay. Nice. Hmm, I think this sapling might still be alive, but it's in rough shape. I guess all the night thorns strangled its roots. If we can just nurture a little, I bet we can whip up some coffee for you in no time. I'll go talk to Wally about restoring this sapling to full health. Wally! Hey, can you help with this? You wanna help me fix this, bud? Ah, uh, Figured out why Stitch was acting destructive. He misses coffee. Oh. If you could just help us nurse his plant back to health. Then Stitch wouldn't be so tired and grumpy anymore. Ah, oh. <laughs> Ta-da! And what's this? A list of everything I need to know to plant the tree to get growing again. Thanks. I'll go gather all this up and put together a crafting station. In the meantime, if you could just tend to the plant, I know we'll have it growing again in no time. Okay. So we need pebbles, clay, and sack. <laughs> I love how it's just like sack. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. I want to do a shiny um, hunt stream. Ooh, we got Grand Engine and Rowlet. Very nice. I definitely want to do a Pokemon shiny hunt stream. I wanted to do this stream earlier today and a Pokemon shiny hunt stream this evening. But I think what I'll probably do is maybe a late night Pokemon shiny hunt stream. Um, depending on... How I'm feeling. <laughs> so we'll see. It'll either be late night or in the daytime. Figure that out later. Let's see. Pebbles, clay, and a sock. 
You want, what, 25 of these? I could be wrong. Pebbles. Oh, I didn't actually pick them up. My bad. 25. Clay. There we go. Let's get 25 of these. I went the wrong direction, and I clicked a whole lot more for no reason other than for the fun of it. There we go. And one sack. I don't think I have any sacks in storage. Let's go craft a sack. Hopefully I've got enough stuff to craft a sack. There we go. I'm going to check one thing while we're doing this. Hang tight, guys. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Wow, I cannot type today, guys. Okay, that's perfect. I was just trying to plan ahead real quick because it looks like we're about to make this sack. And after that, we're gonna go pick up some of Buzz. Ooh, let's check Buzz's flowers real quick. And then let's make the sack so we can give Buzz's flowers more time to respawn if they've already spawned. But basically after we're done with this quest, I think Buzz's marsh flowers are gonna be a bit problematic. So I don't think we're gonna be able to finish Buzz's quest today. Do we have any flowers respawned? Ooh, there's one. So basically, I think we'll be doing Stitch's quest, and then what we'll probably do is I wanted to actually try doing the whole uh, raid redirect thing. Because I feel like a jerk when I don't redirect when we have people here that I think would like other streams streamers I like. And uh, Kato's streaming. Or at least I think she is. Um, so hopefully she'll be, still be streaming once we're done. Because I'd like to have us all go over and hang out with Kato at her stream. Once we're done with these. I don't know if you guys uh, watch Kato yet, but she's pretty darn cool. Let's see. Yeah, those flowers are not going to be a thing that get done today. So we're going to do Stitch's quest. <laughs> let's go over here and make a sack real quick. Ooh, let's stop carrying this pickaxe. It looks weird with my candy cane. There we go. I can't believe we actually got Minnie's quest done. That's wild. I've been waiting so long for that. Okay, where are our sacks? I think it's just over in furniture. There we go. One sack for our little blue buddy. Ooh, actually for, for Wally, for us making our coffee bean tree for our little blue buddy. There we go. Hey, bud. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm afraid to talk to you when you're in a corner. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, thanks, Wally. The roots are looking better already. I'll take you to the crafting station with everything I gathered. Hmm. I wonder where I should plant it once it's ready. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> you're pointing at the Glade of Trust. That's a great idea. The climate there will help it grow in no time. Ooh, we're gonna put the coffee tree in the Glade. Ooh, was this here before? That's really cool. Craft the coffee sapling at the crafting station. Okay. Hey, Stitch, come with me. Let's be good. I think part of what I like about Stitch is that he's so mischievous, you know? He's fun. Oh, look at the coffee sapling. That's pretty cute. Here we go. We have crafted one coffee sapling. Now, is this one of those things that's going to take a few days to grow, guys? Because I'm curious if it is one of those things that takes a little bit to grow. And we're not supposed to rush, or does it just, like, grow as soon as we plant it? Okay, let's just make sure I'm not crazy. This is the Glade of Trust. We're going to plant a coffee sapling. And I think it'll be cute right here next to our little stand. 
Ooh, how do we, how are we planting this? Is it in here? No? Oh, it's right here. Duh, I'm being a dummy. Okay, I guess we grab our shovel, maybe? And then we just plant it like normal. Okay. Oh, it takes 15 minutes? Nice. Um, I made him a miner, and I'm not honestly sure how many I have in each roll. Uh, quite a few. I've got several miners. I've got three or four miners, and I've probably got like four or five gardeners. Um, a couple diggers. Okay, it takes like 15 minutes. Let's, um, let this actually complete, because I want to see it. If you guys don't mind to hang out for 15 minutes. Because I want to see this. Let's go to our quests and see what we got here. He needs more flowers. We can check and see if any more flowers have spawned. I really expected them to do one of those three-day mess things that they did, like with Scar, you know? I wonder if they meant to, and that's why... Um, the level 7 quest is being buggy. Like, if maybe this tree was supposed to take longer and it's not. Let's go ahead and pick up stuff out here. And hope we have some flowers respawned. And we'll try to pick up some more of Buzz's flowers for him. Since he's insane and wants us to craft some, something that I haven't ever bothered crafting. Like, I get that he likes the idea of the balloon arch. But can't we just give him a banner... Or something that doesn't take these flowers that I don't have. That'd be great. <laughs> I know it's unlikely, but... Oh, look at Stitch Run. Let's say hi. Hey, bud. He says Akuta. Oh. Hi, bud. We're still hanging out, I promise. There we go. Ooh, was I a jerk? No, the music's on. It's just quiet over here for a second. I thought I was a jerk and didn't turn it back on again after we went into Remy's. No flowers yet. Interesting. Interesting. I know time travel really breaks the game and people shouldn't do it, but I do understand why some people do time travel and just deal with the consequences later. But I just don't think I could... I'd be so paranoid about bugging out this game. It's not like we need the game to have any help in getting bugged, you know? Oh, goodness. Here, let's just do this again just to see. Go faster. Grow. I could have used one of those watering potion thingies on it. Oh, I hear Donald. So that takes us up to nine of them. We're getting closer. We are not getting there today, though, unfortunately. Was that a... I put canola. That's not a flower. Lordy Lou. That canola. It's like, why are you doing this? I'm not... I'm not a flower. I mean, technically, maybe. Let's go ahead and just toss these in here. There we go. Clear our bags up a little bit. Hey, little bud. Well, we got him and we're doing this. Um, since I made him a mining buddy... We might as well lap of, lap of mining, hoping flowers respawn and waiting for this to do its thing. I feel bad making you guys wait for that flower to spawn for 15 minutes, but I want to do his level 4 quest, you know? I want to do everything we can with Stitch today. I guess that includes mining. Oh, look at him throwing gems our way. Donald is really having the fits today. What a conniption, buddy. There we go. And thank you guys. We are up to, I think, 19 likes if my YouTube uh, thing is updated. We have almost got to 20 likes, and this is just a small, quick stream. You guys are super awesome. It really helps, especially with me being a small, newer channel. 
Oh yeah, I don't like to sort my flowers out. So basically I put my big house storage box in the house and one in each biome. I know it doesn't duplicate the storage, but I can just drop my flowers off anywhere I'm at and I never ever ever have to sort a flower in my life. Which, honestly, I'm totally happy sacrificing my house storage for because I don't really have a good use for my house storage otherwise. Everything else was easy to sort. House storage was hot garbage for flowers unless I just tossed them all in one place. Oh no! Little buddy, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? We gave Stitch the fits. We gotta be careful with the mining on that spot. Any more flowers? <laughs> Please, sir. May I have some more flowers? Oh, guys, I was watching um, Muppet Christmas Carol yesterday. And oh my goodness, is that movie far more sad and grim when you're an adult than when you're a kid? I hadn't seen that thing in years. And like the one little Muppet that was singing outside of Scrooge's shop and then later you see him just like sleeping in like a box with like trash. I'm like, oh guys, gosh, this is really sad. Let's go give him a little house. It was mega depressing. I had not realized when I was a kid watching that. When I was a kid watching, I had no concept of what was actually going on around me. So goodness, guys, that movie is far more sad when you are an adult. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm always glad when people find solutions that work for their storage needs. Um, because honestly, not feeling like I'm losing track of all the items I have in this game really helps me feel a bit better when I play, you know? Let's go buy the rest of the stuff that was up at Scrooge's, because I think I left some things behind there that I didn't buy. And that'll be a good use of time until this finishes growing. So let's go get those real quick. Oh, nice! You guys got us over 20 likes! We're up to 22! You guys are great. Very appreciated. It helps YouTube know that I don't completely suck, and that they shouldn't hide me away from the world in a dark corner where no one can find me. Yep. Because that's totally how YouTube works. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Yeah, always got to pick those berry salad ingredients whenever I'm buying them. Hey, Scrooge, I need to buy some of your stuff. Definitely need to buy some of your stuff. What are these? Red cummerbund pants. From the Little Mermaid? I don't think I ever saw anyone in the Little Mermaid wearing these, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Um, but I guess that's the style. Let's grab one of these, because why not? Uh, what's this? Whoa! Wait, what? A toilet! Our restroom! We can have a toilet instead of just having the bucket! Wow. We are high class. We no longer have just the bucket in our restroom, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be a really big upgrade for that room. A really, really big upgrade, especially considering it is an indoor restroom. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, that flowers biomes page? I wish I was organized enough for that, but I don't remember to stop by, you know? Quest items you can't deal with in the storage box? That makes sense. You've been waiting for a toilet too? Yeah. I mean, mega upgrade. Because previous is like, here's the sauna. Here's a bucket. Good luck. Get wrecked. Commodore's powdered curls. I guess we're going to buy it because it's a hairstyle, but I am not wearing that. Okay. Um, I don't remember if we have this. I guess let's buy an extra one. We do have that. And we do have multiple of this, I'm pretty sure. So those are good. Let's go, um... Let's go put a toilet in our restroom in the house, and then let's go check on uh, Stitch's coffee plant and see how it's doing. Because we've been waiting a long time to be able to, you know, upgrade and have modern plumbing in that restroom. So, um... This is a major step in the right direction. Everything else in that restroom may be kind of hideous, but at least we will no longer have just the bucket. <laughs> 
for our restroom needs. There we go. I think the restroom's right in here. Nope, that's my bedroom. Maybe the restroom is back here. That's the restroom. Holy shnikes, we have a potty, guys. Let's set it somewhere in here. I guess it's going to be under newest items, right? Because we just got it. We could put a book next to the toilet. Wow, that's awesome, guys. We have a potty. I don't think we'll put it right next to the sink because that's a bit much. We could have a Zen potty right over here. Or it could have its own corner. I think let's go Zen potty. And we maybe put something on the wall above it. Let's go into the wall art. Guys, we are high rollers. Wall art. I think we already have those up. Yeah, we do. So that would be kind of weird to put another. Wait. We could put... Wait, we can put the scarecrow in here? That's weird. Let's just do something... That's like kitchen art. We don't want that in the restroom. This is kind of classy, but it's big. I don't think it fits the vibes there. Let's go uh, in general for things just for wall. Wall. I mean, I guess we could go with that one. It just doesn't feel right, you know? I know it's kind of picky, but, you know. Ooh, wall planter. It does not center. Game. Don't make me cranky. <laughs> that won't center either because it's a three. We need something that's a two wide. We can only put a two wide over this. Or it's not going to center. Wow, game. That's not nice. Are you a two wide? Perfect. You're a two wide. It is decided. Look at that, guys. We are now allowed to have an actual toilet. We're going to keep the bucket. We're going to pretend that's just our cleaning supplies. Um, it never had another use. It's just, it's just a bucket. It never had another use, I promise. <laughs> Let's go check on our buddy's uh, coffee tree situation. Oh. Let's go to the first floor. I wish we could choose the exit from the second floor. So just like the game knew, hey, I'm going down the stairs and I'm exiting. But I don't think that's going to be a thing it ever lets us do. Ooh, it's red. It wants to be watered again? That's it? It's already dry. I guess maybe it needs like another, what? Do you think it needs another seven minutes, guys? Let's go check for more flowers for Buzz. I wonder if we could use one of those fancy watering speed potions, you know, to make it grow fast. Whoa! We got a stitch hat. Score. I was not expecting him to level that fast. Let's, uh, let's get dressed. Let's find a stitch hat. Let's go all in on this stitch day. Oh, look at our hat. Let's find a better outfit to go with the stitch hat. Let's see what types of coats and tops we have. We could go with a Dreamlight Valley jersey. We could go all like Disney themed. Ooh, what do we want to wear with this? Let's filter our clothing by is there a stitch topic in here for the filters? Lilo and Stitch. No items under coats. Let's filter all of our wardrobe by Lilo and Stitch. I know I just was in here. Just the hat. Okay, so that's not going to help us any. Let's go into tops. And pick out something fun and cute for Stitch. Hmm. Oh, it's hidden under my hoodie. Let's go into coats. That's 
kind of 1980s and playful. And apparently I'm wearing pants. That's probably good. Anything cute in here? We need to stick with the black pants and wear that. Maybe change our backpack up a little bit. What's playful for Stitch? We could do the blue mic bag. It's blue. Or the toy pull spring. Let's do the blue mic bag. Because it's blue. That seems good. Okay. I think we're all dressed up. For the occasion. Let's go check on our plant again. Ooh, hello. There's a gem. It is still doing its thing. We are fancy guys. We have almost made it. I vote that that plant is going to be ready to harvest very soon. Watch my plant take like a week. <laughs> oh, hey, Connie. It's great to have you. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Are you working on getting Stitch and playing some Dreamlight Valley? It's the Stitch occasion. We are we are having a Stitch extravaganza, extravaganza today. Like, hey, buddy, I'm just trying to make you some coffee, and I had to plant a whole gosh darn tree. <laughs> Hopefully it'll grow soon. There's more flowers spawning. Let's pick these up. Maybe we can get... S oh, my inventory's full? What did I do? My bad. Let's go sell some of these gems. We don't need them all. Because we definitely need to pick up these flowers while we're waiting on Stitch's coffee tree to grow. Ooh, I could customize a stitch top. That's smart. I actually haven't customized a top yet. We could definitely try it, though. Because we gotta wait for that tree to grow anyways. Whoa! Did you see it pop up in the background, guys? Let's sell these gems real quick. And that pumpkin I didn't mean to harvest. Accidentally harv- Ooh, let's not sell that one. We need that one. Let's sell some of the seafood and stuff. Make room in our inventory. That was really cool. It popped up literally where we could see it. Waiting on getting a third sock. I hope you get it soon. Honestly, it's so exciting to get them. I do feel bad they made us wait so far in between. So, yeah. We have a coffee bean tree bush thing. Oh! All that just to take the whole tree? Okay, let's dig that hole again. Let's talk to Stitch. Hey, buddy, I grew a tree for you, and then I picked the entire tree. He says, Akatika Baba. <laughs> coffee beans. <laughs> How would you like me to make your coffee, Stitch? With a little bit of milk? Sprinkles on the top? With some coconut cake? Oh, goodness. A little bit of milk? Mm, I don't know. Before forgetting, Remy makes Stitch coffee. I guess I should go talk to Remy. We can tell him he can add coffee back to his menu. Okay, let's go talk to Remy. <laughs> um, yeah, we can put trees in any biome. You're not stuck to having them in one place. You're fine. Definitely can put trees in any biome you would like to. I got them all kinds of mixed to match. Like here in my little Christmas area in the plaza, I put the big snowy trees because I thought it was cute, you know? Kind of like you're going to go see Santa. Okay, Remy? I'm going to prepare for seeing you by turning down our game music just in case Disney decides to be jerks about the music in Remy's place. I don't know if they've fully fixed that yet, but I'm too afraid to find out, so I haven't found out yet. <laughs> Um, Remy, are you not even in here? Yep, uh, he's not even in here. Let's go look up where Remy's actually at. Maybe he's in his house. Excuse me, but I could use oh, the help. right there. Awesome. Let's fix the sound before I forget. There we go. Hey, bud. Here's some coffee beans. You want to add this to your menu? Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. My coaster stuck to my cup and fell on my keyboard. Hey, Barb, what do you got there? Wait, are those coffee beans? Stitch and Wally helped me grow a new tree full of them. They'll be growing all over the village soon. 
Wow, I'm making assumptions, but yay! That is amazing! Yeah! I can add so much to my menu. I'm wondering what I should make first. Uh, maybe something nice and frothy that you can have with cake. Maybe something with chocolate in it. I need something simple to help stitch. Ooh, I wonder why these have books next to them. I got just a thing. Throw in a dash of milk with the beans. Froth to perfection. And my friend, you'll have a latte in no time. That's a good idea, but I'm not quite sure it's right. Maybe some of the chocolate? Well, if you throw these beans together with a little bit of milk and some chocolate, you'll have delicious mocha. Sounds amazing. I think we need something different. Uh, well, simple is the way to go with high quality beans like this. You can prepare them like you would any other meal. But make sure not to give it a stitch before bedtime. And one cup a day is probably enough. With stitch, there is such a thing as too much energy. Okay. Thanks. Nice. Brew some coffee or stitch at the cooking station. Maui. Maui. We need to have a talk, bud. No coffee for Donald. Oh, lordy. Can you imagine Donald with coffee? I'm guessing coffee beans are going to be under fruits. Is coffee in our recipes yet? I don't think it is, but I guess it will be. Let's start cooking. We made one coffee. Now, he said we can also do it with milk or with chocolate and make two other recipes. So that's cool. Um, I wonder, do the coffee trees just show up other places or do we need to plant these and make more trees? Here, buddy. I made you a coffee. Gasp. Coffee. It's freshly brewed. It's pretty strong. Hope you like it. Don't drink too much at once, okay? It's pretty strong. Hope you like it. Stitch drink it all! Uh-oh. <laughs> Ducky da. Stitch not sleepy anymore. Ew, that's good. Now you can use all the energy to um, help the village. Explore the valley with me. Pull some really funny pranks. There in the glade, two trees show up. Awesome, Paige. Thank you. That is super helpful. I appreciate the info. Uh, goodness level very high when help village. Stitch use energy to help Wally with gardening right now. <laughs> Do gava akachita. <laughs> very sleepy Stitch. Oh, that's awesome. So let's check this out. Our next quest is locked by him getting to level seven, which I'm not going to do yet because I don't want to bug him out. And our buzz quest is definitely a problem. So since we're going to get those beans from there, let's go ahead and make the other two recipes real quick. So let's make one with milk and a coffee bean because I kind of want to just make these for the sake of seeing them. Nice, made a latte. Now let's make one with cocoa and a coffee bean. I believe our cocoa is down here. Oh, I made a coffee an accident. I guess cocoa doesn't count as chocolate. Well, at least I made the one. Maybe it needs sugar or something. We'll figure that out later. Let's go check out our coffee trees now that we have them. For tonight's late night. That is really cool. You moved your trees. Milk, cocoa, and coffee. Oh, I messed that up. We'll have to make one once we find these trees. Or rather, bushes. Oh, so cool. That is cool. Maybe we'll get a crit on this one. These will look really cool next to our berries. Very nice. Let's go make ourselves the other drink that I messed up real quick. That is quite awesome. We have coffee beans and we have Stitch. Wait, am I not hanging out with him anymore? Oh, I am. Hey, buddy. He says Akata. Oh, he's too cute. So cute. What a good little Stitch. I'm pretty happy that we dressed up for the occasion. I'm sure he appreciates the thought. We tried. Okay, hang tight, guys. I am checking one thing real quick. 
And you all have got us up to 23 likes, which is very, very, very appreciated. So thank you all. Okay, I'm almost done checking this. My apologies, guys. Okay, that's perfect. So let's go ahead and make our lovely drink with some milk. And some cocoa. And a lovely coffee bean. Ooh, the mocha is pretty looking. That is pretty awesome. So I think we made a ton of great progress today, guys. Um, if you're newer here and you haven't subscribed yet, um, if you subscribe and turn notifications, they'll let you know when I stream in the future. I play games like this. Um, I play uh, some Pokemon games. I play MMOs. I play other cozy games. I play all kinds of stuff. So you never really know what it's going to be on any given day. Um, but I try to do a lot with Dreamlight Valley. So... If you haven't, and you would like to, do please subscribe. I'm always glad to have you guys here. And uh, I think we're going to go ahead and redirect you on all over. We're going to raid. I'm going to attempt to raid. Sometimes it bugs out. But I'd like us to go raid Kato's stream. Uh, so when we go over, if you want to do like the little hashtag sign uh, Barb Plays Raid, uh, I'm going to go over there, and I think we're going to hang out, and I'm going to relax and watch her stream. It says something about a 12-hour stream. I'm not 100% sure what she's doing today, but she's really cool. And she's one of the YouTubers I actually am subscribed to. So I'm going to try to send us on over there. And let's cross our fingers that it works. It might pop up with a button saying, hey, do you want to go over? Um, so if it does, click on that. And I will see you guys over there. I'm going to try to get us over there, and we'll see how this goes. So good luck to us. And I'm going to try to send us over there. It's going to show the ending thing on here first. Okay, guys, let's see if I mess this up. 